Glenn, we want to take you directly above to Sky 5. These pictures from above right now. This is what we've been focusing on, a location where one of those suspects may be holed up. Uh, this is where authorities have been focusing their attention. Uh, it seems to be near a dumpster area. We don't know how many suspects may be involved, but again, um, this could be a critical part of the investigation. We spoke with a man who was at the casino when this all unfolded. He said he couldn't believe the chaos that quickly erupted when those suspects opened fire. The truck was getting ready to come in and Next thing they know, I seen them pulling out guns. Who was pulling out guns? I don't know. I was just ass. I moved the other way and kept going. How many suspects were there? Maybe two. And what was the scene like? Chaotic, running. That's all I was doing, running, because they let off shots. So I had to get out of hell out of there. And that's what I did. And we're awaiting more details from police on how this all occurred. There's a massive police presence here set up all around the casino. And according to initial reports, there was an attempted armored car heist at Hustler Casino, and the guard on site shot at least one person. There are also three scenes in total that investigators are canvassing 155th and Barendo, where the suspect's car may be. Also, Moose Lodge, this is on Vermont Avenue, where at least at last reports it appeared that earlier, um, as if they may have had. Someone cornered in this location. So we've been watching all of these locations closely above in Sky 5. No confirmed reports so far on possible injuries, but the casino property was packed with guests who were evacuated from the building. This business owner across the street from the casino described the scene. I heard 12 shots or 15 shots. First, uh, there were about five consecutive, and then there was a little pause, and then there was about a flurry of eight or nine. My initial reaction was hit the hit the floor, but then uh, I, I I heard there was something. Then I saw that, and then I walked to here, and then that's when I saw the guy way over there running that way. We're awaiting a media briefing sometime this afternoon from authorities on where this investigation stands. There are lots of unanswered questions, how many suspects in total, um, how this all unfolded. And um, there are also reports from another witness we spoke with who said that they saw the armored vehicle uh, here in this location earlier this week and that it appeared as if there was suspicious activity around it. So it's unclear if this is something that those suspects were watching for a while when everything erupted today. We're hoping to have another update for you in the next hour. For now, reporting live in Gardena, Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News, back to you in the studio.